Yeah, the car tweaking, man. What in the world? All right, I don't think I want to drive it like this. We hustle daily. You already know. We're getting it in. in you, the are, pandemic. you already know, man. We don't give a damn about no depression. Recession. We All right, Hustle Nation, we now have less than 70 spots for your chance to enter to win my Lexus GS350. So if you haven't already got your entries, make sure you do it now. We are getting down to the wire. Again, we have less than 70 spots left for your chance to enter to win my Lexus GS350. We Hustle Daily, what's going on, Hustle Nation? I see my Uber is taking off. Copart got some, you see, Copart got some crazy stuff going on. I've never seen this big thing they got going on right here i don't know what they got going on but i do gotta go uh pay for i got a late fee you feel me i just came back from out of town like i don't even know like is this the office they about to be doing i don't know what this is oh this is a catastrophic team catastrophic catastrophic does turn off that right yeah so I, i'm about to go in here welcome back to the channel like comment subscribe to the channel appreciate y'all for joining uh y'all know we picking up the bins let me go pay for this i'll be back with y'all in a minute. Make sure y'all go to that academy. Ooh, and shout out to Copart, man. Um, I always, I almost was not able to pick up my vehicle today, which would have been horrible, man. I like, I had to pay Uber. You know, it was like forty dollars to even get over here. You know what I mean? So, thank God. I don't know how the hell they slots end up full. Maybe because, like, yeah, they probably did that shit ahead of time, bro. Because. Today and today is a Friday, you feel me? So like I would have had to wait till Monday to come get the car. So I appreciate them for that, man. Let me get it, man. They squeezed me in, so shit. Thank y'all. Thank you, Copar, bro. That's why, I, man. Listen, that's why I mess with Copar, bro. Cause Copar mess with me. So I, I appreciate them for that. Cause literally, bro, like, like they got this like this little queue, like, like so. All of these people were like waiting when I got here, and I got here when the gate was open, and it was crazy. So. um I guess they had already been in the queue probably from Wednesday or something. I, I don't know, but I, I just did it this morning. You know what I mean? And, but I was able to get in. So, yeah, we're good, y'all. Uh, they said they're bringing it out to me, man. So I'm just waiting on them to bring it out, man. Uh, anything I want to tell y'all this video? Not sure. Oh. I don't remember. Oh, well, I did win this car when I was out of town. I will say that actually had a late fee on here too. They wasn't accepting payment. It was like a lot of little uh, rock uh, obstacles in our way today, but we got it done, man. So y'all see what I got, man. I got my uh, jump box here. I got my book bag here. And um, I mean, my duffel bag, my uh, jump box, and then my book bag. So I think I should have pretty much everything I need um, to get this job done today. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Somebody's actually on their way to look at the truck they was like they want to be here at nine and what time is it now it's 8 40 so i got 20 minutes it takes me like 30 so i told them i could be there at 9 30 so i'm pushing it i'm pushing for time right now so i'm gonna wait for them to bring my mercedes out man and then we're gonna see what we got we're gonna get right in we're gonna hop right in and we're gonna get on the road man we don't really got no time to waste because i gotta sell that truck you feel me got some big boy money in that truck so I'm saying we got to get rid of that truck. So I'm just waiting on them and then uh, we're going to hit the road, y'all. Real quick, though, I think I see them. I ain't going to lie. Like, y'all remember that car was stuck. Like, I don't even know if I can see him. I just seen them, but I don't know if y'all remember, but that, that the, the, the Mercedes was stuck. I just seen him. He, oh, there you go. You see him? You see him waving his hand? Hold on. You see him? He's by the car right now. You see him? Y'all just seen a little orange. So he's by the car right now, but... I think he was gonna drive it up here, but man, I need that. Remember, I don't know if y'all remember from last video. It's probably the last video I posted. I didn't re really record when I was out of town, but um, yeah. So he got to get it out them rocks, man. So and then we can get on the road. But I'll see you guys in a minute. Let me uh finish this out my bag. I just had to show you. Okay, Hustle Nation, now all you have to do to enter to win my Lexus GS350 is purchase any one of these options here. Now, the number in the parentheses determines how many times your name will be put in a pot. So, for example, if you buy one for $25, your name will be entered in a pot three times. And if you buy one for $150, your name will be entered in the pot 100 times. But any of these options here grants you entry uh, to win my Lexus GS350. It's just the number in the parentheses is going to determine how many times your name be entered in the pot. The website will be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. 
and you can always go here and change the quantity here so you can put five if you want to which comes up to 750 bucks of course the link to the website is going to be in the link in the description in the comment section and of course on the screen right in front of you don't forget the winner of the giveaway will be flown in with a free plane ticket paid for by me so you can pick up your car and your title here we go here we go thank y'all so much i don't know where he's sitting the set but here we go there we go there we go there we go oh damn where you fuck damn he taking us in a yeah put us up he put us in there oh i guess he now the guy coming real quick all right so i'm gonna just i don't know i don't know if i can go in here There. I don't know if you want me to come in there or not. Right. Yeah, I think he's about to jump it for me. Oh, I ain't even got to use my jump box. Let's see if we can peek around here and see what he's doing. We just watch him. Oh, y'all can't even see that shit. Uh, I got a jump box, man. Man, he about to hook us up, y'all. He about to get that thing running for us. Perfect. Hey, I didn't even need to bring my jump box. You feel me? But yeah, I guess I can't go in there, so I could just like let y'all see here. I guess it's the best I could do. Crank right up for us, baby. Hey, we hopping right on the road, bro. All right, and it took them a minute to bring it out, but they brought it out. I'm still waiting on them to give me my uh, title. But um, you can see the wheels, man. Hopefully they didn't mess it up too bad when they had to take it out them rocks. I ain't gonna lie, I did hear like a little noise when they brought it out. I was like, what the hell? It looks like it was sounding, it sounded like it was coming from the back, but that might be, I don't know what the hell that shit was. But I did hear a noise though, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But let me show y'all the whole car. Look like uh, we got some tires. That's what I was looking at, but there's the damage there. Look like we need a headlight. Of course, and uh, I think all this could be saved, honestly. But now, oh damn, Jeez. Uh, that could be put back together though. But uh, what I was gonna say, uh, the yeah, I just worried about that suspension noise, man. Cause when I heard that, I was like, what the? Fuck? So it's got 181,000 miles on it. Let me get y'all the full perspective of the car so y'all can see it. I know the sun in the way. So y'all can see the whole whip. Other than that, it's cool, it's clean. You know what I'm saying? It's riding right now. Should go and put my tag on it. C250. Oh shit. Got a little noise when we open the door right there. thing right there all right traction control off and stuff is the ac on come on now i turn the ac off look at this turn everything off man so yeah i'm just waiting on them to uh get the title for the vehicle and then we're gonna hit the road but y'all see it i should gonna show y'all the back i'm really just hoping like there is no crazy noise when i pull off because i promise you I don't know. I heard something when he pulled out. But we all gonna see together, so. Uh, yep, let me just wait on them to uh, get my uh, stuff. I'm gonna show y'all all around the car one more time. I ain't got my wide angle, man. I ain't got my wide angle. But it's clean. 181,000 miles on it, y'all. So it's got some miles on it. I got this one for a good deal, man. I'm not complaining about, about a, with the price that I got this thing for, you know? So I'll be back. Let me go uh, see if they got the title yet, and then we hitting the road. Y'all gotta wish me luck. Cause I heard a noise, man. And we pulling off together. I'm gonna make sure I'm recording right. All right, bet.
Man, I hope I don't hear no noise when I pull out this joint. Two hundred feet. Turn right on the park drive. We we shit. Let me turn this music down. We shifted the gear though. I just see I hear. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. I hear some. Oh, that's probably them fucking rocks. That's what that shit is. The rocks that was stuck in the, uh, what you call it? Take the next right oh, that's cruise drive. control. Hold up. Where's... I think we good, y'all. We gonna see. We about to see. Hold on. Ah. Oh, we good. Hold up. Make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com, man. Stop playing. Stop joking around with me, dog. What's this? Let me turn this shit off. I don't know. I don't know how to work Lexus lights. I didn't know how to work my last one. Yes, sir. Stop playing with me, y'all. I'll make sure y'all go to that academy, man. You feel me? So so far so good, man. I ain't really got no complaints. Um, you know, you still gotta drive it a little bit more, but so far so good. We shifted through all the gears. I still hear all those rocks just coming out of uh, the back. So that's what that was when when he said the when he like drove out like oh when he drove out like I heard it. I keep putting. I keep doing that. I gotta stop doing that. How do you stop the cruise control? Uh, stop it. Okay. Yeah, we good. No noises, man. And I ain't gonna lie, we got straight in the car. We ain't checked the oil. We ain't do shiznit. We ain't do nothing. I'm trying to hurry up and get to the man who's about to buy the uh, Dodge Ram, man. So he's uh, trying to, you know what I'm saying, buy the Ram. So I gotta go show him the car. You feel me? And um, yeah. Hopefully he buy that truck, man, because I don't I don't even want that truck no more. Y'all know I spent a lot of money on that truck, man. When I say a lot, a lot. Well, over 10k. So she must want to ride or something. Got somebody hitting me up. She must want to ride. She don't never tell me good morning. She must want something. You feel me? Ain't that funny? Now we can turn this heat on. Let me see. Alright. Alright, y'all, but so far so good. Y'all know we still gotta do our highway drive and all of that. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get all of that in this video, man. We just really need to just get to the truck, man. And uh see if we can get that thing sold. I was gonna split the video up, but I think I'm gonna just keep it all the same video. If I sell the truck in this video, then I sell the truck in this video. You know what I mean? Or maybe I'll split it, split it up. I don't know. Nah, I'm gonna just keep it all in the same video because I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to even show y'all the truck. I'm gonna have to just like straight up get in it and go meet the guy. You know what I mean? So, yep. But as y'all can see, so far so good. This car is riding good. Like I said, we still gotta get in the on the highway and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even hit the highway because I gotta head over there to my mom's house to pick up the Ram. If y'all don't know what truck I'm talking about, uh, of course it's the Ram. Y'all gotta go back and watch. You know what I'm saying? It's the previous videos, the 2016 Ram 1500. I hit 103,000 miles on that boy. You know what I mean? Uh, was uh, I think I bought it at 102 something. And, uh, yep, so I'll see you guys when I get there uh, so we can get this truck sold. What's going on, Hustle Nation? If you're interested in learning how to buy, sell, properly inspect these cars at auctions or private party sales, make sure you head over to whdacademy.com. You're going to learn how to spot a bad car in seconds, how to get your dealer license, how not to get scammed from the auctions or private parties, and how not to get a limit. I got a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, and a lot of techniques in this academy that's going to teach you everything you need to know to be successful in this auction game. I done helped 
thousands of other people you can see what they're saying i have helped all these people here you see in the comment section and who has been replying about the my academy so make sure you check out the website guys i got two options on there for you guys you get the full curriculum or i can just give you the basic how to inspect car package see you guys on the inside if you're interested a lot of you guys there's something going on with the car now see the lights going off the lights going on it might be because it needs a battery. I just have to jump it. Like I have to use my mom's car to jump it. And I have to use my car to jump. I have to use the jump box. I think I finally need another jump box because this thing gave out. Yeah, the car tweaking, man. This shit tweaking, bro. Damn, it's tweaking bad. What the fuck? What in the world? All right, I don't think I want to drive it like this. I think I should just... I was trying to get home, but hmm. I wonder how much a battery for this costs. Well, I need to see if it needs to be charged. Man, oh man. What should we do, y'all? Should we still try to drive it like this, or what should we do? That shit is tweaking, bro. It's not cutting off, though. Mm. I just sold the, uh, sold the truck. Um, y'all might get that video after this one. Or y'all might get it the same day. I could release it the same day, maybe. It's not doing it now at idle, but... That shit was just... wasn't doing that the whole time I, I i took it to my mom house i turned off the battery i mean i turned off the battery i turned off the car and i had to crank it up with this jump box and use my mom's car like with jumper cables onto it and then it cranked up but that's so weird though it's not doing it now though i think i need another battery that's really what it is man got the battery working hard um, I was trying to wait till I got to my mom, no, my, my crib, um, so I get in my other car and drive, but I think we're going to make it though because it's not doing nothing right now, but I think we need another battery, y'all, so we're going to take this battery to the, uh, store, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that today because... Well, I, this battery messing up has it's got me messed up. My mom needs to go somewhere, so it's like I can't use her car right now. So, you know, I, I really got to go back home. You feel me? And I ain't got the truck to drive. We just sold the truck. Got the pocket full of money. Got the pocket full of money, honey. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes, though. It's not doing it again, though. It's not doing it, as you can see. It's not doing it. Thank you, the Lord. I'm going to sell this joint ASAP. We got to take it to the car wash. Oh, we gotta get a headlight. I forgot all the, we gotta make sure this shit don't be tweaking first before we do anything. You know what I mean? That's what we really need to do. We need some gas. See, even if we needed gas, we couldn't even turn the car off right now. I would dare turn this car off right now and be goddamn stuck like Chuck. But all right, guys, I'm gonna see you guys when I get over to um, uh, my side of town. I'll let you know if we make it. I think we're gonna make it though. Cause it's not doing it. Y'all seen it was tweaking though. Y'all did see that. But we good, we good. I believe it's just a battery. If anybody in the comments, y'all, your car did this before, let me know in the comments below. Cause mine sure just did. It made me kind of change my mind about going to see the other one. I was about to go see the other one, but I, I can't turn this car off. You know what I'm saying? And moms need her car. So I gotta go back home and get my other car. So y'all know how the game go, man. Okay, guys, and we did, in fact, make it home safe, so um, we good to go. It didn't do that little blinking thing or nothing like that again, so we made it home. We good to go. I'm, I'm trying to see if I need to turn this car off for any reason because after I do turn it off, I won't be able to move it again. Um, 
I could try to just like. Uh, Let's try. Y'all ready? Mm. Of course not. Nothing. Does this even work? Oh, none of this shit works, bro. Well, I'll see y'all on the next video. I'm changing this battery and all that, man. Yep. Peace. This video has been sponsored to you by Auto A Stat. Now, Auto A Stat is a tool that I use to help me find out if cars were staged in Copart. For example, this 2021 Cadillac CT5 was sold for $24,800. But if you go down, you can actually see more information about the car. You can see that it was vandalized. That's why it's here. The car starts and everything. But if you go all the way down to the sales history, you can see that the car was also sold in 2021 and you can find out more information about it it was uh, sold by the insurance company state farm but if you click it you can also see that the car had another lot number that sold for 20,000 if you look at the photos here you can also see that this car actual damage was right here on the side there so that means that someone bought the car fixed the doors and then resold it back in Copart for $24,800 and they actually did the writing themselves so they were the ones who vandalized the car this website can also be used if you want to know how much I bought my cars for because I never really tell you guys how much I pay for cars so you can also find how much I pay for cars and if something is fishy going on with the car so if you are interested my link is in the description below make sure you sign up with my referral link and lastly this website can also be used for Copart and IAA so here's the Copart website all you would have to do is copy the lot number or the VIN number or you can go to IAA and also just copy the lot number so here's the lot number here and all you would do is set it up top and there you go so it works for IAA and Copart and lastly there is a monthly subscription I personally use the pro package which is $49.95 but you can also get the personal um, package which is $19.95 you can look up cars in the last two years and with the pro package you can look up cars in the last four years but when I tell you guys it is worth it it is really worth it it has helped me save a lot of money okay hustle nation now all you have to do to enter to win my Lexus GS350 is purchase any one of these options here now the number in the parentheses determines how many times your name will be put in a pot so for example if you buy one for $25 your name will be entered in a pot three times and if you buy one for hundred and fifty dollars your name will be entered in the pot a hundred times but any of these options here grants you entry uh, to win my Lexus GS350. It's just the number in the parentheses is going to determine how many times your name be entered in the pot. The website will be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. And you can always go here and change the quantity here. So you can put five if you want to, which comes up to 750 bucks. Of course, the link to the website is going to be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. Don't forget, the winner of the giveaway will be flown in with a free plane ticket paid for by me so you can pick up your car and your title.